Welcome back guys on my YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited because I have a very special bike build based on the Husqvarna 701, but I'm sure that Giacomo will show you also some uh, video of the bike full in black. For sure you'll have a hard time understanding that this is a 701 because we changed so many parts and this was a really special build because this bike will travel for thousands and thousands of kilometers as I get a lot of requests if it's possible to make bike builds here in Italy for people from abroad and if it's possible eventually to buy the full ready bike we have a collaboration directly with Husqvarna, KTM, Gas, Gas, Yamaha and so on so we are able to purchase the bike fully build them and deliver a full bike ready to go on the road and on the trails but now let me tell you more about this very special edition first things first how to change the color of your Husqvarna 701. Husqvarna this year released a full set of plastics in full black so these are available at any dealer and you can also order them at Treble Exports but be aware of the fact that with the plastic kit the front fender they provide you is the super moto version this very short one some like shorter fenders on rally bikes and to me it just looks I don't know disgusting I like the fender and especially I wanted to change a bit the design because I'm not a big fan of the Husky OEM fender so we went with the KTM EXC front fender in black to clearly match everything and also the four guards the Supermoto four guards don't fit here so we use the Husqvarna FE or KTM EXE is the same for guards. But with no further ado, let's start checking all the bling we put on this bike. Now you're on the other side and you see there's a lot going on in all this section of the bike, starting with the front fuel tank. So we put a raid garage fuel tank and I'll show you under the seat. This is a six liter fuel tank that gets connected directly to the rear tank without any need of any extra fuel pump or any vacuum pump so very reliable system here on the side you'll have a selector to turn it on or off but it simply means that you can isolate this from the rear but you cannot isolate the rear and go only with the front tank this also lets you change the full air box with a foam filter and is way better if you do off-road use if you go you know uh, in the mud in rivers right in rain and so on but anyway let's move on to the handlebar where you see a lot of interesting things starting from the grips here we have foam rally grips these are the same grips that we use in the Dakar rally and in desert rallies then we have the adventure control which you find always on Rebel Exports. And this is a Bluetooth controller that works with all Android devices. It can be a tablet, it can be a smartphone, whatever, or even the new Garmin uh, GPS, the Thread, uh, which I'll quickly show you because here we do a lot of R&D to develop the rally kits, the towers, the accessories. We develop for also bike manufacturers, so doing OEM designing. But anyway, all these devices you can control via Bluetooth and you have a toggle switch to move around the map then you can zoom in zoom out you have a selector very very useful and nowadays I put it on almost on all the builds then we have the double take mirrors these mirrors are made by Ned 
a Dakar racer. We race together in South America. So be sure to get these mirrors because he's a really nice guy. And he made a product keeping in mind that when we ride off-road on very tight trails, we might go against branches or you know we can crash and sometimes we don't want the mirrors because when you're standing up on the bike your arm can go against the mirror this can be dangerous these mirrors are super durable they're mounted on ram mounts so you can fold them in have them out of the way but also with this system of the ram mounts you can also remove one of the mirrors if you need like if you know you're participating in a rally you just take out the ram mounts and you're without the mirrors but you can also use this mount for a gopro if you want to film yourself crashing and doing some epic fail shit on the handlebar then you see we change the levers we put these raximo levers the interesting part of these levers is that you can adjust the, with a quick selector the position of uh, of the lever like if you want it more inwards or more outwards but also they have a screw where you can move the end of the lever outwards or inwards so you have the possibility of two different settings for both levers then we have also SM project like on the engine CNC machine covers and anodized in blue these caps match the whole blue bling we have on the bike on the center we have a Garmin Montana 700 series mounted on the upper CNC riser that I personally designed that lets you put a Garmin mount in both directions but also it lets you put a quad lock or even the ERTF GPS that you use in Dakar and World Championship rallies so a very very versatile mount that avoids you having to bolt things around the handlebar and makes it very easy putting the device in a perfect central position and protected by the elements in case you crash moving on to the tower you already know this is the Rebel X Sports rally kit it's a plug and play system this bike can be TUV approved because it has all the documentation needed in order for the bike to be TUV approved and so fully street legal. We have here the Carpe Eater tab. We are going to also test the new devices in uh, the next month. So stay tuned on the channel and subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I put in the stories live content when we are trying new stuff. The Carpe Eater is a very durable off-road tablet. It's lightweight compared to other tablets on the market. It comes with its charging mount and different from the other tablets, it has two charging. It has one eight millimeter circular connector and then the pins on the supplied uh, bracket. This is important because when you put a SIM card and you're going on 4G the whole time and you're moving around the map with the controller, it could be you drain the battery, but with this system and with the software which is installed directly from Carpeter, there is also a battery management so that you won't avoid ruining the battery of the tablet because devices can be very delicate based on how you charge them and you'll see if you have for example an iPhone you can see the health status of the battery and this software makes it so that the battery will get charging only in a certain range and you know when it's full or 95% you won't see it charged so don't worry it's not that you broke something it's the software that's designed this way. The tablet is mounted on the tower with the C bracket that lets you tilt the the angle but also bring it either up or down on the tower making it possible to place different devices of different dimension the OEM dashboard is moved and it goes on the tower so also this very visible position same goes with the indicators and the ABS switch one very nice feature of this tower and you know my fetish for wires I hate seeing wires on the outside of towers or when you have big holes and you can see all a mess of wires so all the wires get tucked in side the tower and this also provide a better protection to them and less dirt will go on them and on the connectors but let's move on to the other side from this side you see that also the bracket for the carpet eater comes with a key to me this is a fundamental feature because when i go ride i'll stop at a bar to have a drink and i don't want to worry about someone stealing my tablet obviously you can't leave it at night in the street because then 
danger someone will just bolt it and rip it off but it's a nice feature to have then you can see that all the wiring that is done then internally to the tower goes through this fuse box and to bring power to this fuse box we don't run any wire all the way to the battery but all is wired through the acc two connectors that are behind the headlight in this way we get the power from the bike when the bike is running meaning i don't have to worry about having you know the charging of the tablet on and draining my battery and you know waking up and the bike doesn't start or whatever it's a six-way fuse box used also in dakar africa race by factory teams so weather resistant and you have six outputs so you can put up to six power connection this lets you power all the positives so all the power and then all the grounds are then bolted together on the tower if you break a fuse the red led light will turn on and you'll immediately know it's the fuse but also if you have any issue with the wiring you'll be able to immediately identify what device is giving you the problems to the wiring here on the side of the tower as you know we have a space for a tool bag compartment for an emergency kit or for your rain gear making it a place that can be used for lightweight stuff and so that you don't have it anywhere else on the bike then we have the full rally replica fairing this is the fairing of the factory kit em uh, squarna teams uh, that won the last editions of dakar not the latest because now they're running a different model that is not available on the market but this windshield is designed to deflect the air to the side i get a lot of questions about you know the buffeting around your helmet and these things all the windshields that tend to go up and then do like a sort of lip are designed to make the air go on your head and when you ask does this windshield provide a better airflow and reduce buffeting it's very difficult to say because it depends so much on uh, you know your height on which helmet you're running and with those type of windshields the probability is much higher you'll get buffeting this design deflects the air to the side so provides a much better comfort when on highway and on high speeds everything is held into place with quick release buckles meaning you can remove the fairing if you need to access any wiring or anything or do servicing the light can be tilted so you can tilt the angle of the light based on what you prefer and also on your suspension because depending on the suspension your bike might be lower on the front or a bit higher also on the rear the turn indicators are mounted directly on the tower behind the windshield providing the best protection so you won't have to worry about breaking your turn indicators the headlight is protected by a stone guard and is separate it has a headlight mask in order to avoid any internal reflection all is sealed with a rubber seal inside here we have a position light a hella street legal light and since we like to be legal but not too much uh, we put a baja design s1 light because we wanted a much more powerful light than the street legal ones and this is the perfect configuration because you put it as high beam meaning that when you go on the road you just use uh, the low beam if they stop you they check the low beam you have the documents certification they won't check it's very rare they'll ask you turn on the high beam moving down we have the air scoop also designed for the airflow and to provide a better stability of the front end all matched with these side panels that really come around and bolt on with the quick release buckles on the air scoop and they're designed exactly to match the OEM radiator shrouds this is a point I really want to stress out because I get so many requests of people asking me Manuel what's the difference between this kit and that kit because this costs this amount and the other costs this other amount so if you want something that has been deeply engineered thought and designed you look at these small details sure you can put a piece of i don't know cardboard or just plastic and you know 
make some side panels, but that's not being perfect, that's not being the best. And here we want to build the best rally bikes in the whole adventure market industry. So we want things that match perfectly like a glove and that go together with the whole design of the bike. For this reason, you see how they match the whole line and they're made in fiberglass and carbon because in this way, if you damage them, you can always repair them. Then you see the front uh, KTM EXC front fender. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it looks really cool with the design of the rally kit and the whole bike done all in black like this. But let me know your thoughts. On this other side of the tower, you see the USB ports, the two quick charge USB ports with the switch to turn it on and off and the voltmeter display to know how much power is coming from your bike because a thing that happens on several KTM bikes is that you might have power coming out of the battery but if it's too low let's say you have uh, six amps coming out the bike might not turn on and the reason is just because it needs more power so this can be very useful when you're trying to figure out why the bike doesn't turn on but everything else turns on. From the front you see the factory team uh, hand guards with the added protection. These are full plastic, you know I hate the metal ones. These are flexible, meaning in a crash they will absorb the impact and not necessarily bend your handlebars. Furthermore, with this added protection, they provide really, really a good protection to your hand, even from wind and in the cold season from cold air. Let's look at the wheels. The wheels are from Bar Tubeless, an Italian company where you can buy either the full wheels or you can get your normal wheels fitted for tubeless tires for tubeless system so these are tubeless wheels with the rear rim being wider so that we could have many more options when choosing what tires to ride because this bike will go on a very long travel of uh, several weeks and we needed to fit some tires that were almost more road use and you know for just easy gravel roads the bar tubeless are cnc machined hubs and rims you can choose the color of the hub and of the rim and the dimension we went with the blue rims just because usually you see the 701 with the black rims and we wanted to make this bike really unique. To make it unique, we had to put a lot of bling. So you'll see we have many CNC machine parts anodized in blue from the engine cap to the oil cover to the sprocket guard and the sprocket guard this also improves the fact that the OEM plastic one gets a lot of dirt inside it all gets clogged up and with this CNC machine sprocket guard it's much better it's easier to clean especially when you go even with the power wash and you have more space for the dirt to exit and still provides a very good protection better than plastic in case you have issues with the chain everything is anodized in blue and these are made by an italian company a friend of mine sm project they specialize in 701 690 gas gas 700 uh, exc fe but mainly for supermoto but i think they look really good also on the this enduro model we then have a lot of carbon. Ah, uh, carbon always looks nice on the bike, but also adds protection. We have the heat shield. The heat shield helps a lot with the heat dissipation. The OEM one is in steel, and when you put your leg, uh, you know, close to it, you can almost get burned. If you're in shorts, okay, you have don't have to ride in shorts, but whatsoever. But anyway, uh, the carbon dissipates better. The heat looks better, but to match it, we went also with the ignition carbon cover adds protection and the bash plate a full carbon bash plate so all matches nicely also with the Selle della Valle seat cover that has the carbon on the side has the quick dry leather the humps and provides a better comfort especially on long rides but this wasn't enough carbon we had to even put swing arm protectors also these are in carbon they're a bit expensive but they make the bike look really cool and also protect your swing arm in case of crash and you know in case of going in big ruts and so on one thing is important to notice if you put swing arm protectors remember always every now and again especially if you go in a lot of mud to remove them when you're washing your bike here they're held only with zip ties so it's very easy 
and quick process to do. From this view, you also see the Rebel foot pegs, the Rally foot pegs. These provide a wider footprint. Very important on the 701 because as Giacomo will show you, the clutch cover protrudes outwards quite a bit and with the OEM foot pegs and your boots on, you end up having your foot only on the tip of the foot peg. In this way, you'll have a nice stable surface on which to apply pressure with your feet. Also, these come with interchangeable pins, meaning if they get worn out or you lose any, you can always change them. The foot peg has a special ceramic anodization, so it's not like the usual foot pegs you find on Alibaba or whatever, or from other brands where they're maybe in orange and blue and so on, but as soon as you ride, they immediately get scratched. This, it will take really a beating before you see the anodization get ruined. Last but not least, we added the Perun Moto side stand in larger. This provides a wider footprint when you put the bike on the side on the side stand. This is very important if you ride in sand or you know very soft terrain where you don't want the bike to sink in and then fall. So this helps a lot and how it's designed. Uh, it's exactly of the proper dimension because it, it doesn't come outwards like other side stand in larger where sometimes if it's too big, it can be dangerous for the rider. When the side stand is closed, it doesn't come too much outwards causing, you know, safety issues. Moving on the rear end, we can see that we have the arrow exhaust that you saw on other of my bike builds. This is a street legal exhaust with homologation and is much lighter than the OEM. Also, if we compare it to the OEM, which gets really, really hot, this maintains a lower temperature and makes the ride more comfortable, not having, you know, a boiling exhaust, but also it makes much nicer noise, uh, more rally bike noise, as Giacomo will show you and make you listen to this music. It has the carbon cap, so matches all the carbon we have on this bike. Moving down, before I forget, we have also changed the sprocket. We maintain the same amount of teeth, but we went for the Squarna Super Sprox Stealth Sprocket because, first of all, the rims are blue, so we had to have something matching the rims and all the blue bling on the bike. And the inside in aluminium is anodized in blue, but the external is in metal, so this will provide a much longer life of the sprocket compared to the OEM. You see me rest on something, and this is the Perun rear rack for the 701. Very, very useful and very, very well engineered and designed because comparing it to many other rear racks, this is laser cut, but then is CNC machined. Different from many others on the market, this has a higher quality and is better engineered because it's laser cut and then all these holes are CNC machine in order to avoid any sharp edges. So neither inside the holes or on the external of this rear rack, you never have sharp edges, which is very important for safety. In case you crash, you don't want a very, very sharp edge. Furthermore, this won't wear the straps of any bike you decide to put on here. In case you don't want to put on some rides any rear bag, you can always use it as a table for your coffee. Rebel, what else? Or I don't know if you are dating some weirdo, you can use it for some bondage, all these holes and put some ties. But anyway, moving on to other things on this build, we put a CNC filler cap anodized in blue. This is fundamental if you do off-road riding with the 701, 690 or gas gas, because the OEM cap has a key, which okay, no one will steal your fuel. And I can understand if, you know, I'm in the area you want that cap, so I won't steal your fuel to go to Dakar, but this, makes the fuel breathe much more because the 701 has a big fuel tank of over 12 liters, which means that you have a lot of fuel movement because this is all tank and the fuel movement, you know, 
create some gas and this gas need to go out if not you have that vapor lock system and that's the reason why on many forums you see people that have broken the key in the filler cap with this you avoid that and it makes it easy if you need to put fuel inside you won't have to remove the key and these feature the acerbis caps so easy to find in case you lose them something very important for all you guys that like me want to escape from the police we put the rear tail light uh, we simplified it it's made in sheet metal but it looks much less bulkier than the oem plastic one also it lets you tilt the license plate so in case you want to go full throttle where you have speed cameras you'll just tilt it backwards and can go this can be used on many different uh, license plates even though this particular one we put is for European license plates. To end with, we designed a custom sticker kit. You know that I really look into materials and when building bikes I want to have the highest quality. So we have a special material we import from the US in order to print the graphic before lamination. Then the graphic is laminated with this matte 400 micron uh, lamination that provides a very good protection, but also the stickers are really easy to apply. You'll see that there aren't no bubbles at all on the full sticker kit. This sticker kit was designed with the person that asked us to do the bike build as we have a graphic department and all the machinery to do graphics in-house. Well, that's all for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to know the price of a bike build like this, because many of you ask me, I'm starting a new website, a personal blog, where I'll share all the details on all the bike builds I'll do from now onwards. It will take me some time because I, I have limited time, but I, it's something I really want to do to share also the costs uh, where you can buy the stuff because uh, I see from the questions in the comments, uh, I got a lot of these questions and I want to help you, you know, find whichever accessory you're interested in and know its price and so on. Now it's time to go. Be sure to subscribe to my Instagram, to my Facebook, to my channel, to stay tuned on new upcoming bike builds because we have some really, really cool and exclusive one. Also, I'm working on a project of a bike that there is none similar in the world. Even this bike, what we do is every bike build, we try and make a bike unique so that everyone that will see this bike won't see other similar bikes and especially with all these accessories well guys thanks for watching see you in the next one ciao Walk up in the light. yeah i'm really young talking my shit light now walking this light hey. yeah i'm really young talking my shit light hey. really young. Hold up.